Hey guys, how's it going? iPod Touch helping here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G and 3G, an iPhone 3G on 4.1 firmware. So this will only work for the iPod Touch 2G MB model. It will actually work for the MC model as well, but it will be tethered. But why not wait for Green Poison, which is what I'm going to be talking about at the end of the video. So skip to the end of the video if you're not worried about this jailbreak, because uh, the Green Poison jailbreak will be jailbreaking pretty much all devices, and uh, that will be released in three days. So this is more of an update video, and if you do have a 2G or 3G, um, I device then depending on what I said like 3G iPhone 2G iPod you can do this jailbreak so basically what you guys are gonna want to do is first off you're gonna want to download Red Snow and uh, what, how you're gonna do that is you're gonna go to this website links in the video da description down below and you're gonna download it for Mac or for Windows as simple as that now you're gonna want to minimize that and make sure that your iDevice is on 4.1 firmware. As you guys can tell, I got Game Center right there. So I'm on 4.1 firmware, guys, and uh, I'm on my iPod Touch 2G. And what you're gonna wanna do is go into Browse, and what you're gonna browse for is the 4.1 firmware that you download. So I'll link in the video description as well. So click Browse. I'll find mine quickly. There it is. It'll quickly process it here for you guys. So let it sort of do its thing here. And I believe it'll, yeah, here's the pop-up. If it's an MC model, say yes. If it's not, say no. Mine is not, mine's MB model. And to figure that out, you go into settings, uh, then general, and then click about, and then go down to uh, where it says either MC or MB on the right side. Now what you guys are gonna wanna do is install whatever you want. So I want Cydia, I want Verbose Boot. I don't want a custom recovery or boot logo. I do want to enable multitasking and I do want to enable home stream wallpaper and battery percentage. So those are the things that I'm going to check off and I'm going to click next. So now it says please make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer. So I'm going to turn it off here. Quickly show you guys. Just powering it off. Slide the power off. Make sure it is fully powered off. And then click next uh, when your device is turned off and plugged in. So mine's turned off guys and I'm going to click next here and, uh, and then I'm going to get ready for the next step. So click next, hold down on the power button for three seconds, hold down on both the power and home button for about 10 seconds, and then release the power button and hold the home button for about 30 seconds. So now I'm just going to hold the home button here for about 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get it here. There we go. Now we have the white screen, which is always good. Once you get that white screen, you can let go. And uh, it's going to do its thing now. So uh, I'm going to pause you guys here, as you guys can tell, downloading jailbreak data right there. So I'm going to pause the video here, get back to you guys when it's done. Catch you guys later. So here it is, guys. It's completely finished. And uh, all I had to do was slide to unlock once I'm done. And uh, I scrolled over, and there was Cydia right there. Um, I will prove to you guys that it works. But this is the Red Snow Jailbreak, guys, for the iPod Touch 2G, MB mainly, and Tethered Jailbreak for the MC model. And it does work for the iPhone 3G. But guys, now I want to talk about something that I think is even more important than uh, this jailbreak, because this jailbreak is really limited to the amount of people that it work for. It only works for those two devices, right? So now I'm going to discuss... Uh, the Green Poison Jailbreak. So basically this new Green Poison Jailbreak will work for the iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4, and uh, it'll basically work for every iPod and iPhone that will that is capable of running 4.1. So the first gen iPod can't run at 4.1, but the second gen can, and so can the third gen. So it will work for the iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and 4G. Now I'm 90% sure about that, and I'm 100% sure that it will work for the iPod Touch 4G. So don't completely take my word because really there's no 100% word on it but really if there is a shattered exploit for it which is actually a hardware exploit which is for the actual device itself and not the software where they can just change it this will work for the iPod Touch 2G and 3G especially if it works for a, a newer device like the fourth generation iPhone or iPod so once again guys it should work for iPhone 3G and 3GS and uh, hopefully it will all be untethered. Uh, once again, there's no official word on that as well, 
But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This was iPod Touch helping. You can, if you guys missed my last video, go check it out here. Follow me at Twitter, twittercom iTouchHelping. And last but not least, guys, I got another channel if you guys want to check it out. But if you guys don't want to do those last things, that's fine. I'm just letting you guys know if you guys want to stay connected with me a little bit more. But uh, yeah, this was iPod Touch Helping. Hopefully, you guys did like this update video and jailbreak. And I will see you guys later.